Hello, Kita Base. I hope all of you are doing fine. Guess what? This is Rabbi Sklar, who misses you guys very much. So, I'd like to tell you guys a story. And guess what? The story may not be finished the first time. It may be finished the first time. I don't know. But hi, everybody. I hope everyone is having a good time at home. And everyone is listening to their parents, being helpful, and being kind to their siblings. So our story happened not so long ago in the country of Uzbababan. In the country of Uzbababan, there lived a lot of Yidin. And one of the Rabbanim, one of the rabbis in charge of this Yidin, his name was Rabbi Yukusio. And the issue was that Rabbi, Inku, Rabbi Yukusio was, took care of Yidin. The president of that country was not necessarily so helpful to the Jews. And the Jews had a problem. We'll see what their problem is. So the rabbi had to travel to this president to make his case on behalf of his Jewish brethren. Our story begins in the rabbi shul in Rabbi Yukusiel's town. They are at their meeting place. And this story is called, Everything is for the Best. Rabbi Yukusiel speaking to his board members. So are all the preparations complete? Yes, honored Rav. The meeting with the president has been coordinated. The issues that will be raised are agreed upon, and the gift that the Rav will give is also ready. Although it is a bit heavy, the gift. Rabbi Kassil answers, you know, you know how significant this is, meaning how important this is. Of course, the future of the Yidden in this land is at stake. And the Kisvil continued, indeed, we have to dive in to Hashem. We have to make sure that all the yeshivas and all the kailim and all the yidden dive in at the time of this meeting. If that seems the case, then all is for the best. Rabbi, your driver, your regular driver will be waiting for you tomorrow morning at 8 to pick you up to the airport so that you will be able to fly to the president's palace or place of residence. The next evening. What can I say? This gift is very, very heavy as the Rav is schlepping the suitcase special package with the gift. Oi, an ancient silver crown weighs a lot. Um, the concierge tells the Rav, which is the guy that's in charge of the hotel, you can put that back down here as well. No thank you, says the Rav, Rabbi Yukusil. I'll carry this myself because this is something that's very precious. So the concierge thinks to himself, if that Jew is not putting down that bag, it must be very valuable. Honored Rabbi, what is in that package? Oh, it's a gift for the for the president. It's an ancient crown from the middle, silver crown from the Middle Ages. So he thinks to himself, this, the guy, the attendant of the hotel, hmm, you know what? An ancient crown, that must be worth millions. We'll see what I can do. Short time later, the concierge speaks to the guy in charge by the head of the hotel. Hey, which room is that rabbi in? I want to biz deliver a personally a, a bottle as a gift from the hotel. It's a privilege for us that this esteemed guest is staying here. Wink, wink. I'll check, sir. He's in room 1010. Do you want me to make sure the gift gets to him? No, no, I wanted to bring it myself. It will be much more dignified that way. Short time later, 
Boris, the hotel clerk, comes to Rabbi Kusil's room. Honored Rabbi, it is our privilege to host you in our hotel. I'd like to express our appreciation. Here is this beautiful bottle of wine. Oh, no, thank you. You don't have to do it. If he would know what I'm plotting, he wouldn't be so grateful. Now that all my things are here, says Rabbi Kusil, I'll go out to find the minion for Madaf. Meanwhile, the rabbi checks the lock, makes sure that it's locked well, because, you know, if the money is very, he has to be careful with the crown. A few moments later, Boris is lurking in the corner, waiting for the Rav to leave. As soon as the Rav leaves, he sneaks into the room, and he opens up the package, and inside is a beautiful, not silver crown, but gold crown with diamonds and sapphires and all different types and rubies and all different types of precious gems. He says, there's no way I can take this out like this. Everyone's going to see me. And the rabbi is going to realize right away how empty and light the suitcase is. I have an idea. Quickly, Boris runs downstairs to the garden in front of the hotel and fills up the sack with dirt. A moment later, very good, it's about the same weight. He'll never figure that his package has been replaced. Ha 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 ha! An hour later, Baruch Hashem, Rabbi Gesil comes back from Minyan. I was able to find the Minyan for Mariv, and all should be well. I'm ready for tomorrow's meeting to be continued.